Hey. Another successful landing. How are you doing there? I need to stop eating tasty grapes. I feel like I've gained two pounds just from eating. I looked on the outside of the package. It says they're from Suid Africa, South Africa. Man, those grapes are tasty. Um, a couple of people left me comments and said, oh, eating grapes isn't bad for you. It's like, what are you talking about? They're pure sugar. Um, I mean, not like bad eating, like eating a burger, but I gotta stop eating grapes. <laughs> I finally figured it out. I'm a, a very deep thinker. And certain things attract certain entities. Like, and I've taken pictures of like the rich girls and the million dollar horses. Like you will not see somebody on the sidelines watching you know, the, uh, the rich, snobby girls riding horses. You know, like some goober popping a top on a beer with like pit stains and a sleeveless shirt, right? You just don't see that. It, they don't attract that. You'll see them all day long at Walmart, though. <laughs> and these entities that I've talked about at various places that really engage in a lot of this. I'd like to, I'd like to show it to you on a chalkboard. I'm not going to say these words. But this, yeah, yeah, the people that are really, really into this, yeah, the people that are into that, like um, Trader Joe's, Costco, uh, big time Whole Foods, big time, okay, I'm going to call this the Chihuahua effect, and I'm being dead serious over this is uh, halfway hilarious, um, all dogs, of course, come from wolves, but Chihuahuas, are really inbred and uh, you know they're kind of cute I'm not putting you down if you own a chihuahua um, but you know what I'm talking about these little dogs they, they, they sh they're sh constantly shaking they're peeing on themselves all the time right leave a little like if you scare a chihuahua like pee itself and it's just constantly shaking like a leaf <laughs> scared of its own shadow you know afraid of everything Barking about everything. Just bark, 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 bark. And the polarization that you actually see in society is very, very akin to this. And the people that really not only have this in themselves, but want to project it onto you and project it onto me and are really, really into this. I mean, seriously, seriously into this. Big believers in this religion right here. Yeah, I think you know what I'm referring to. They are like the human versions of a chihuahua. They really are. Um, like if you threw a chihuahua out in the wild, how long would it last? A day or two, maybe, before it starved to death? You know, a wolf is rotting around and, and uh, you know... Uh, these rotting animal carcasses, you know, it's sleeping in dirt. You know, it's a healthy stock that's not worried. Life is full of surprises. I'm not saying at all, nor am I implying, and I never ever tell anybody what to do or think or believe. I'm not. But these people, and that, that, that's, I've, thought about this a lot and they really are human chihuahuas they just remind me of little they're eating it up they remind me like of a teenager at a horror movie or something like a young one back in the day when like yeah, a horror movie was like unusual it would scare the hell out of somebody just they're, they're little shaking chihuahuas you know shaking afraid of their own shadow pee you know peeing on themselves you know compared to a wolf and you know, that's one thing, and it's pitiful enough. You look at a poor shaken chihuahua. It's like, that's pitiful. But what if the chihuahua had two legs and wore glasses, you know? And you get where I'm going? And projected their shaking and, uh, you know, inability for bladder control <laughs> onto everybody else, making everybody miserable spreading their own religion, which is this. This is the religion right here. I mean, it is half funny, but I'm serious. I would call it the Chihuahua effect. Every time I see these people, 
The ones that project. Is that know what they're doing? Because I don't care what anybody does. None of my damn business what somebody does with their own life or family. Don't care. Don't want to know. Literally, I mean that because this is so important. Someone's going to think I'm like trying to get somebody to do something or be somebody else. But when they try to spread their bubble of uh, shaking and uh, fear onto everybody else, that's where I have a problem. You don't like that? Guess what? I don't give a damn. At least I'm being honest, for God's sakes. At least I'm being honest. I had to say that twice. Do your own thing. Don't care. Not interested in how you lead your life. Leave me the hell alone. And anybody else like me, too. But they really do. I mean, I can't think of something more accurate than that. It, they're like little chihuahuas. Except they're way worse. We pity a chihuahua. We look like, okay, poor little damn dog, you know. He's always barking and chasing his tail and peeing itself and afraid of its own. Like, That's pitiful. Like I said, imagine a two-legged chihuahua. That is not just about them. It's like, no, no, they have to bring you, you have to suck you into their misery. No, 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 it's not just me. I'm going to suck you into my vortex of BS and misery and this. I'm going to suck you into the vortex of this, my religion. That, hey, at least I'm being honest. Don't like this video? At least I'm being honest. Don't suck me into your vortex of that. Because I won't be sucked into it. No matter what comes, no matter what may, I will not be sucked into your vortex of that. You know, you're not dragging me down the swirling toilet of, uh, you know, the, the chihuahua effect. Pretty perfect analogy. This is me being reserved and calm, actually. If anybody thought I was being angry in this video, <laughs> you don't know what the definition of angry is. <laughs> this is pretty calm. Did I make that succinct enough? Was it kind of accurate? You tell me. Bye. Do, 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 do.